you can visit our website for the commands in the videos. If you want to purchase other study materials like packet tracer files and other course guidelines, then you can email to us. Follow us on Facebook for further updates. Please do like, share, comment and subscribe so I can quickly deliver more videos on various topics. Two switches. Why? End devices are having the MAC address and switches doesn't have the MAC address. So, MAC to non-MAC device, when you are connecting, you will use the straight through cable. Okay, you can select F00 port and from the switch side, you can choose a different port number. Okay. You need to note down the port number. The, each port is going to be settled in a different VLAN range. Okay. Then from switch to switch, you can use the crossover cable from F0 slash 24 and connect it. Why? So that I can easily identify the ports connected to switch to switches. So by doing the always show port labels, if you uncheck the box, you can hide the label. If you check the box, you can see the labels now, port labels, okay. So switch to switch, I have used the crossover cable and I selected the 0 slash 24th port and 23rd port like this so that I can easily understand whether it's going for switch to switch or end devices. This is not a must, I just wanted to differentiate, okay. And let me write the commands now. VLAN 10 name IT. VLAN 20 name HR. If I need, I can write VLAN 30 name something. Okay. Sales. Okay. I can simply copy all these commands and paste it in the config mode of the switch. On all three switches, I can paste it. Enable config T. If I need to check the VLAN database now, show VLAN brief. Okay. You can see there is only VLAN 1 and 1002 to 1005, and the, all the ports are by default assigned in the default VLAN, which is VLAN 1. Now let me paste the commands which we copied earlier and exit. Next if you check the show VLAN brief, you can see the VLAN we have created. But still the port ranges are on VLAN 1, okay, default VLAN. You can see three VLANs are there but there is no port assignment. By writing the right command, you can save the configuration. Or copy run start, enter and again enter. Enter. Next, let's assign the ports for the VLAN. So interface, range, FA 0 slash 4th port to 9th port. Okay. So switch port mod access, switch port access VLAN 10. So likewise, I can edit the other port ranges by simply copying the previous commands itself. Just change the port number. Now the port numbers are from 0 slash 10 to 
70. And it belongs to switch port access VLAN 20. Okay. Next. Next port number 18 to 20. It belongs to VLAN 30. Again, go to config T and paste the commands. Should I copy the commands earlier? I showed it and now paste it. Enter, exit, exit, and show VLAN read to check the VLAN database. Now you can see. So the individual VLANs have separate port ranges assigned for them. Okay. So you can see the third wheel and port ranges are mentioned as seen here. Go to copy run start. By doing copy run start, you can save the configurations. Still now we have done the configuration for switch one. Now we are going for the switch two configurations it's going to be the same right just copy it and paste go to config mod paste it switch three again paste it and again copy the port assignment commands and paste it again on config mode. Okay. Show VLAN read. Okay. You can verify the VLAN database and save the configuration by copy, run, start and enter. Now reach the second switch. If there is an error, it will point out. You can simply edit it, right? You can see the third statement on switch port access VLAN 30 is having an error. So it's throwing an error to us. So we can correct it. Copy, paste it again and enter. If there is no error, it will reach the next line without any issues, okay? So now verify the VLAN database and check what are the port numbers assigned for particular VLANs. Now set up the trunk. So trunk set up in between switches. Okay. So instead of configuring trunk on uh, first switch and second switch or first switch and third switch you can simply uh, set up the trunk on second switch itself okay for example trunk setup must be configured on one side it's enough okay so that you can simply click on the second switch and for interface fa0 slash 23 and 24 you can simply make it trunk by doing the interface range FA 0 slash 23 to 24 switch port mod trunk. When you configure the trunk setup into one side of link, it will automatically change the other side into trunk setup. Okay. Go to config mod of second switch, config T, paste the commands. So the syslog reply is coming. Show interface FA 0 slash 23 switch port. 
by doing this you can verify the trunk confirmation okay trunk details are shown here interface step phase 0 to 23 has been configured for the trunk Twenty-fourth part also check. It's showing operational mod is strong. Okay, so you need to fast forward to make the change quickly. Because by default, packet tracer run, configured to run in a real time environment. Okay, if you fast forward it here, the time will run quickly and the processors will get faster to work out. Okay. So we don't need to wait for a long time to see the changes. To see the trunk setups or trunk interfaces, you can type the command show interface trunk. Okay. You can see in this switch, fast Ethernet 23 and 24 has been configured for the trunk. Save it by WR, enter. So we can go to the PC and assign the IP address. Okay. Go to desktop and assign IP config. Type the IP statically 192.168.10.100. Here I haven't specified any default gateway. Since there is no router involved, I don't need to assign any default gateway. Okay. For the second PC, I am assigning 20.100. For the third one, let's assign 30.100. So for the next switches the devices, I can assign another on the same network right from the second switch i am assigning 10.150 20.150 and 30.150 for the end devices the end devices are called hosts okay Thirty dot one fifty. By mistake, I have assigned thirty dot two hundred. Either way, it works, but it's better to uh, assign as per our simplicity and understanding. It's better to assign IPs which we can simply understand okay so that we can compare and quickly record when we try to ping now press fast forward few times so by now you can try to ping from same VLAN device to other same VLAN device. So now you can ping from VLAN 10 to another VLAN 10 device. Type ping space 192.168.20.100. Request timeout message will appear. So let me label the network setup. So first one is 10. Dot, second one 20. Dot, and third one I am going to assign. 30. Okay. Request timeout message will appear.
So when you try to ping the other network device, it showed request timeout, right? Now let me try to ping the same VLAN 10 device, which means 10.150. So let me try to ping 192.168.10.100 to 10.150. Okay. So ping space 192.168.10.150. Now you can see it's pinging. You can get the reply from 10.150. Okay. So TDL output time to live showing the reply, right? Even you can ping 10.200 as well. Up arrow and get the command and edit the IP 10.200. See, you can get the reply. So same VLAN devices can ping, but different VLAN devices can't ping. Right? If you want to ping from one VLAN to another VLAN device, you need to have the inter VLAN setup. So when you try to ping 20.150, it's showing an error, right? So as a conclusion, we can figure out same VLAN devices can ping and different VLAN devices can't ping, can't communicate, okay? By checking the ping, you are just confirming whether you can reach or not, okay? It's kind of like uh, just trying to ring from one phone to another phone to check whether the phone connections are working or not. Okay. So next we'll have a look at inter VLAN setup so that we can ping from same VLAN as well as from different VLANs also we can ping. So from inter VLAN setup, we can ping from VLAN to VLAN, which means from one VLAN to another VLAN, we can communicate, which is called inter VLAN. We will use a router, which means a layer three device is needed to communicate from one VLAN to another VLAN, okay? So the layer three device is the router. Save the file on packet tracer, give it a name, and save it. You can visit our website for the commands in the videos. If you want to purchase other study materials like packet tracer files and other course guidelines, then you can email to us. Follow us on Facebook for further updates. Please do like, share, comment and subscribe so I can quickly deliver more videos on various topics.